Hello everyone, look at hand, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. Today, we're gonna beat Brawly, for real this time. I can tell you that there literally is no way that I can lose the Nathaf Shedinja. But that's besides the point for right now. Alright, so hopefully, Kung Fu Chicken is not gonna be an asshole, which... I guess that's already out of the window now. Come on, man. Really? We are going to be pulling this. Better please pack the Machop, for fuck's sake. Oh, come on. Last episode, like, I hit one, like, disobeying moment. And now that's all I'm getting. Really? Are, are you being serious now? And I might as well not use pack anymore, because it's not going to do anything now. Really? Okay, luckily it was stupid and decided to use a move that only does 16 damage to me. Okay, well there's the karate chop. Okay, let's see if I can take this thing out otherwise. Uh, not immediately going to use... Uh, Jirachi yet, because Jirachi is probably going to be destroying here. Yeah, I forgot that he's insanely boosted now. Will Bardo gonna kill us? It might. No. Okay. I'll shame you by beating you with my normal type. How much you heal, but you did. Come on, Plinket. Of course you missed. Huh. Huh. Okay, so much for that. Oh! Oh my god, Plinket. Critical? Oh. Do something stupid. Okay, crap. That was really awesome, though. Okay. Can you please finish this off? Okay, he actually did. Okay, let's just try to take this thing out. I like how shooting it straight into its mouth. It's kind of funky. Oh boy. Luckily, this thing is not going to be a threat unless I start not attacking it. Please, Leon, don't. Okay, good. Can we kill it, maybe? Yep, we can. Okay. And then we'll switch into Jirachi for the final Pokemon. Hopefully it'll be finished it will, it will be bleh. I really can't talk, can I? Yeah. Uh I got Psychic at level twenty. That's ridiculous. Like, if this Psychic hits, it, it, it's over. And it might be over if this Makuhita starts being an asshole. Come on, Jirachi. There we go. It's pretty much over now. Yep. There we go. Didn't even have to use Shedinja, which, by the way, would not have been able to be attacked at all. Whoa, whoa, you made such a bigger splash than I expected. You swamped me. Okay, you got me. Take this gym badge. Yeah, also, I would like to say that Shedinja breaks half the gym leaders in this game. And I got the Knuckle Badge from Brawly. Which is a little bit overdue, but oh well. Yay! Up to level 30, everything will obey me! Oh! Oh my god. That is, that is much needed. 
And we registered Brawly in the Pokemon app for some reason. Well, there is a reason. I won't be seeing it later, but... That won't be for a long time. Okay. Yeah, let's go back to Slate Port. Finally move on with our lives and the game. But mostly our lives. Have I said that I like the music in this game? Because I do. Alright, let's go. Oh yeah, I forgot you can't actually go over those. So I don't- I have no clue what's in those houses at Slave Park, but... I really like it matters. Back into the Pokemon Center. Uh, as you may have seen, at the top left corner of the city, there is, in fact, a weird building, but, uh... I'm gonna choose to not show it off specifically, because, uh... What it is, is it'll be the same as an area later on in the game, uh... Oh. Oh hey, if it isn't Kevin, let me guess you're going to the battle tent, right? Yeah, that's a good idea. It's a really great idea. Except you can't actually use your own Pokemon, so... What the battle tent does is find the old up with Pokemon, which pretty much you swap out random Pokemon. And you use Pokemon that are owned by you, and then... yeah. But wonderful things might happen. Oh. Just for a second I thought I didn't, like, heal anybody. Okay, guess we're good to go. Let me check the trek house real quick. I don't think there's anything here. Nope, he's standing in front of the door. Okay. I guess we can already move on. Find a dire hit, which is, of course, a great item. So not really. I found some cool Pokemon in the grass around here. I didn't specifically have to go over here, because you find those right outside slight part as well, but... Oh well. And you totally found this Aeron in the grass here. Well, that thing's gone. And vacuuming. Really hope that won't be affecting anything. It shouldn't. Besides, there's so many buzzing as it is. I say that mockingly, but it's, it's kind of true. Uh, I, I, I know that there is. I don't know why there is, though. I can't really fix it. If I, if I could, I would, but I can't. Alright, so... Of course... And... Kung Fu Chicken Grill level 21. You're not going to learn Sand Attack. Shame on you, Kung Fu Chicken. You can do better than that. Alright, so now... Let's just switch out the party a little bit. I really hope you can't hear that vacuuming. That would kind of... ...raz my stash quite a bit. Yeah, Minen, we've seen you. We've seen plenty of you. At least I have off-screen, so... Hi, Kevin, Lone Time LC. While I was searching for other Pokémon, my Pokémon grew stronger. So how about a little battle? This rival fight is terrible. At least I remember this being terrible for my uh, Ruby Nuzlocke I did a couple years back. Oh god, was it awful. Okay. Now, because I'm kind of over level, it's probably not going to be too much of a problem. Supersonic kind of ruins my mood, but okay. And scratch, okay. There we go. Here's one down. Slugma, which you can't actually get at this point in the game yet. I suppose it's less, like, weird than having the Torkoal in Rustboro City. And then ditching the Torkoal later for the Slugma. And there we go. Surprised Flame Body didn't activate there. And Grovile. You gonna sweep the team, Plinkit? You gotta sweep the leg. Okay, pretty much. I snapped out of confusion. Two. Oh. 
I guess you're content leaving on the top. And missing. Apparently the best thing this thing has is Pursuit. I guess that is true, because the strongest grass move that we have right now is Absorb. Because, yeah, it, it doesn't get, uh... Obviously it doesn't get Bullet Seed naturally, so... Oh well. You're better than I expected. Or I have a figure off. You've been busy training too, huh? You deserve a reward. And uh, we got an item finder, which I'll probably never use. That's an item finder. Try and find if there's an item visible in the midst of sound. Let's meet again. It's a little silly coming for me, but you should train a lot harder for next time. Yeah. No, I think I trained plenty. I think there's, like, hidden items. In a lot of places in this route. Mining, please! So I think this is one of the few routes in the game where you're actually, like, forced to go through a lot of grass. I do have a repel. I'm thinking of maybe spraying it after... If I get one more encounter. Because there's literally nothing I need to find on this route anymore. Can I see your repel? Come on! Just one look, please! Okay, through a foul time! If you can't get a groove, you get left behind! I really have no clue what half these trainers are talking about. I like how the vacuum is also slowly sneaking up to my room. No, by the way. Also, figure off and or yeah, no, I have the figure off. Lombre, which is the evolved form of Lotad, and has no like black in its sprite for some reason. Only like really dark green. It's kind of weird. Okay. Just a couple of fury swipes to take this thing out. There we go. Plank at grid level 21. Jirachi gained some amount of experience, but apparently not enough to level up. Alright, fury swipes and psychic. I like it I like I like it so much that uh, the battles actually are going at a decent rate now. Not at, at all what they were before, where it was just a lot of waiting and a lot of spending turns, because Slackoff plus three Pokémon that didn't listen to you and a Ninkata that doesn't really do that much damage, not a good combo. I wanted to complete my collection. Well, then you should actually go ahead and do it. Be like me. Oh, okay. Apparently, creepily like collecting uh, phone numbers. There's a revive here. Which is good. Okay, now... Uh, let's switch with the party. I'm not gonna do the entire whole switching thing. Oh, hello, Kevin. It's Roxanne of Rustboro City. I heard from Brawly that you're moving up through the ranks and trains in the incredible kill -up. Well, I'd rather not think that, uh, rather not think that I can't beat you. I promise I will shape up my gym so that it comes to my challenges again. Okay. And we just kind of randomly register her in a random patch of grass. Sure, we'll go with that one. Okay. I'm not going to spread a repel anymore now, because I'm actually surprisingly close to the end of the route. I have foreseen your intentions. I cannot possibly lose. I fell off cycling road. I'll get over my embarrassment by battling you. Yeah, that is kind of embarrassing if you fell off the frickin' cycling road. Actually, that's not embarrassing. You should be happy that you're alive. Okay, Magnemite. Frickin' show off. Uh... None of my moves here will really hurt the Magnemite, so let's just go for a really powerful attack, I guess. Okay, that worked out. Also, I should have totally just used Pursuit on the Abra. Level 22 already. That was quick. Didn't I get enough hits off a of bull seed? Nope. Typical. And it has hidden power. Not fire or grounds. Okay, good to know. I don't know what it has. It's also not anything resisted by, uh, 
psychic. Might be like water or electric. Or by uh steel I mean. I ended up losing. Okay, well too bad. Oh, free elixir. That's really that's strangely good to be finding on a ride like this. But hey, I'm not complaining. Uh let's see. Actually, let's switch Axel to the front of the party. Because he's not paralyzed. Hey, don't sneak up behind me like that. Also, because this is a fisherman. Dale. Who has a tentacle? Nothing really interesting to see here. Just gonna smack some, smack some mud at it and I'll be done. That was a surprising amount of experience that I got from that thing. Wilmer, which I will not actually be able to catch anytime soon. So that's gonna be one of those things that's gonna be in my Pokedex and you can't actually get anytime, like, relevant to when you get it. Also, Wilmer kinda bugs me, because, uh, it, it looks like it has two faces. You see those two dots on its head? At one point I thought those were its eyes, but it's those two lower dots. Like, it has two blowholes and two eyes, but I thought it had, like, two eyes and then, like, two nostrils. If you look at it like that, it looks really stupid. Also, because it's doing, like, a sniffing thing there. Yeah. Uh, cannot unsee, at least not on this right. It looks like a hippo. Like, it looks like a whale that, like, combined with a hippo, and by a whale, I mean, like, oh, and then had a spherical baby, I forgot to mention that part. This is important. Oh, well. Oh, tentacle. You pose no threat to me. And I beat Fisherman Dill. Rat. I've been foiled by the power of love. Nana berries. Hey, they're free. I'm not complaining. She just called us the vacuum episodes. Even though, like, it, it, it has stopped now, but... I mean, now we're like 17 and a half minutes in. So it doesn't matter. Also, I like how the old man stopped, like, moving... Once I got, once I like picked the berries, that was kind of funny. All right, so here's Marvel City. If I had a bike, I'd easily cycle to Slateport for some shopping. But then I would get the Harbor Mill to Slateport and Mart. Okay, that's all fine. Oh, free item. Found X Speed. Gonna sell that. For some reason, this game really likes handing you the X items, but only one of them, from what I remember. I hear people call me the Rock Smash guy, but I find that sort of degrading. With a bit more respect, maybe something like the Rock Smash dude? Woohoo! Anyway, you look really strong. Here, I like that. Take this hidden machine. And we get conveniently get Rock Smash. That HM contains Rock Smash. If you come on a large brawler that blocks your path, well, use that HM and smash them right out of your way. Yes, sir, smash rocks aside, I say. Woohoo! And now it's time for the Name Raider show. I'll tell you what Pokemon the Fortune is nickname I bestowed upon you, the advice I have to give, and blah blah blah, blah. Nega Steve of Kevin's Pokemon Shedinja. Hmm, hmm, the nickname is fit for an individual Pokemon. Very popular, this Pokemon uniqueness will bloom excessively. The nickname Nega Steve is rooted by the letter E. The letter is supposed to be the fir supported by the first letter N, which gives it a solid sense, because together you can get yeah, it says me. I guess. I really don't know. Alright, well... Oh, it's heavy here, most energetic customer. Well, you may call me Rydal, I'm the owner of the cycle shop. Your real running shoes, they look awfully filthy. Did you come from far away? Mm-hmm, you're saying that you came all the way from Little Root. My goodness, that's ridiculously far! If I had one of my bikes, you could easily go there while feeling gentle caress of the wind. I'll tell you what, I'll give you a bike. Oh, wait a second. I forgot to tell you, there are two kinds of bikes. There's the Mark bike and the Acro bike. The Mark bike is for cyclists who want to feel the wind with the bodies. The Acro bike is for those who prefer technical rides. I'm a real sweetheart, so you can have whichever one you like, which one you choose. Uh, I personally like the Acro bike more, but I will pick the Mark bike for now, because it has a use sooner than the 
Macro Mike. It's been Mog Macro Mike. If you get the U.S. to switch to the bike, just come see me. And but that, that will end off. So I thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you guys in all next time back in Slight Park when we will get the Harbor Mill. So for now, bye.